Hey guys, so we took a vacation at the end of July and this is the view from our place. We have like a panoramic view of the river. It's really beautiful here. So I thought that I would take this opportunity to show you what I packed in my makeup bag. So if you're interested to see what I packed this time around, then just keep watching. All right guys, so this is a caboodle that I purchased myself at Ulta several years back and it is already falling apart because it's been so well loved. But we'll start with this side. These are all the brushes I've packed. I have a combination of Juno, Wet n Wild, Sephora, Elf, more Sephora. I think this is an Urban Decay one. Some generic ones. I think this one is a crown brush. We've got some, I think this is Real Techniques. Yep, we have a Smashbox, another Wet n Wild, and Olimar Cosmetics. So I just bring like an assortment of brushes that I will need during the week. So this is what I've brought with me. And as always, some like spoolies and tweezers. Okay, now inside there's no rhyme or reason to the way I've packed this, but I'll start with my face products. I brought these three products from It Cosmetics, and turns out I didn't bring dark enough shades because I definitely went up to like at least a medium or medium tan. I brought Fair, which didn't get any use. Light, which got some use. And then the CC Bronzer, which surprisingly didn't make my makeup dark enough. So next time I go on vacation, I think I would bring a darker shade, but this has given me the sun protection that I've been looking for. We've pretty much been at the pool or the dock most of the days. So this is what I brought for the week. This is the moisturizer that I brought for the week. This is the Pixie Vitamin C Lotion. I figured I would need some healing after some sun exposures. This has been really great this week. I also brought the Derma E Scar SPF Cream and that's been really great as well. I just don't have it here. It is with my stuff to take to the pool. I brought this little guy with me. This is an e.l.f. sponge and I've been carrying it around in this little, I think this is a Juno & Co. sponge travel case, which is very handy. Highly recommend. For powders, I bought, brought these two from CoverGirl, the Simply Ageless Instant Wrinkle Blurring Pressed Powders. And again, I didn't bring deep enough shades. I brought 100 Translucent and 200 Classic Ivory. I definitely could have gone a little bit deeper current color here is much tanner than I was expecting so good powders glad I brought them just wishing I'd brought darker colors for bronzers I brought these two this one's a bit cooler has a bit of sheen to it great for sculpting and this one which is a recent discovery while I don't like the name has this beautiful kind of warm rosy brown this one right here has this like warm rosy brown color and it really mimics the look of tan skin so it's been perfect for deepening up my face especially after a week in the sun but for blush i brought my usual neutrogena Chinky, cheeky wink which i still love but i also brought this one because i thought i might want a little extra glow this week this is the natasha denona blush and glow and inside the shades look like this really beautiful shades I also brought this one in case I wanted to do an all cream look and not touch the powders at all. This is the Laura Geller Multitasking Eye Lip Cheek Palette. Cream to powder it says and you have your beautiful blush shade. You've got a nice warm bronze and a nice bright highlight. So I liked that option if I wanted to stay with the cream products. And I did do that one of the days. For concealers, I brought these three, which also none of them were dark enough. This is the newer Catrice True Skin High Cover Concealer. I really like this one. This one's in the shade 10 Cool Cashmere. Love the coverage. I brought this one, which is the brightening one from Maybelline. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Really great for brightening. And then this one also has amazing coverage. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in the shade L300. So great products. Again, just needed a deeper shade for the week. For eyeshadows, I brought these three. I discovered this one in my drawer the other day and I thought it was really perfect for traveling. It is all neutrals, all mattes, and it's nice and compact with a nice mirror. So this is the Lorac Pro Matte Palette. I don't know why I don't use this one more. The colors are great. If I wanted to splash a color, I brought the Violet Voss Essentials Pro Shadow Palette. It has beautiful shades. I definitely did a look with the yellows and the golds last night. And then a newer discovery also from Catrice. This is the Insta Bay eyeshadow palette. And these metallics are insane. So I definitely wanted to bring this one along. It also has some really nice matte neutral options. And if you guys hear the wind, a storm is definitely coming in. As you can see over here, it's getting pretty dark. So I'm gonna try to wrap this up shortly. 
as far as liners go, I brought a whole bunch. I brought a Dose of Colors liner. I brought a liner from Koki Cosmetics. I brought an old one from Maybelline and Gigi Hadid. I also brought a Pat McGrath lip liner because I know that this one lasts a long time. I kind of did like a pink, a cool neutral, a warm neutral, and then one that I just know I love for contouring. And then for eyes, I brought this purple one from Rimmel, this kind of olivey green shimmer one from Milani, and this deep brown from Burt's Bees, just kind of to smudge out the lash line if I wanted to do like a smoky look. Honestly, on vacation, I've been doing very minimal makeup, so I don't know why I brought so much, but... For lip treatments, I brought this chapstick total hydration because when you're out in the sun, a lot of people forget about the lips and I didn't want to do that. This one's a great vitamin enriched night serum. And I also brought this one from Estee Lauder. This one is the Pure Color Envy Lip Repair Potion. Great for rehydrating the lips. For brows, I brought the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown. And then this Wet n Wild Mega Clear Lash and Brow Mascara. While it isn't clear anymore, great combination for easy brows. For lashes, I brought this lash curler and I don't know who it's from because this was part of like a focus group, but I've been getting into using these more often lately. And I also brought this, I also brought this waterproof mascara that I hadn't tried before, but turns out it's not waterproof. I wore this on the first day and by the end of the night, after a couple hours of splashing in the pool, I had raccoon eyes, so it was not waterproof. And then as far as other mascaras go that are not waterproof, I brought these three, I love the CoverGirl Lash Blast Clean to separate the lashes. And then these two do a really amazing job at making the lashes look fuller, thicker, longer, more intensely black. So highly recommend these, these are really good. So that is it for what I packed for my week vacation on the river. As you can see, it's a beautiful setting, very relaxing. The kids and I have been loving it. We did crabbing down on the dock one day. We spent most afternoons at the pool. Um, my son flew a kite on all this property and my youngest learned to swim in the pool this week. So it's definitely been a thumbs up vacation for us. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I packed for my vacation at the river. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.